going to start section two of chapter one on circles. Now you guys have been dealing with circles since grade school. We're going to do it a little bit more formally with the definition here. The circle is a set or locus of all coplanar points that are equal distance from a fixed point, which we know as the center, and a fixed distance from any point on the circle to the center is called, of course, the radius. Now we get the equation of a circle by using the distance formula. I've kind of set that up here. I have if x, y is any point on the circle with center h, k, this is your center of your circle, and radius r, then I should be able to use the distance formula with these two points. So that would be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to your radius. Now, I don't like the radical, so I'm going to square both sides. I'm going to kind of just cheap out and square both sides like this. And I end up with the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus the quantity y minus k quantity squared is equal r to the second power, r squared. And that leads us to the standard form of the equation of a circle. Given a circle with center h, k, and radius r, the standard form of the equation of the circle is exactly what I have here. The quantity x minus h quantity squared plus the quantity y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Now the circle is the first conic section that we will study. We'll get to the other conic sections later on, but this is an equation that you should have memorized. If you don't already have a put the memory, that would be something I would uh, suggest that you do. Now I'm going to use this equation over here to answer this first example. It says write the equation of a circle with center 3, negative 1, this is my center, hk, and the radius is 2, this is my r. And then I'm going to graph the circle here on my set of coordinate, well, on my coordinate plane, on my set of coordinate axis. So, axes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the standard form. By the way, the standard form is sometimes called the center radius form, for obvious reasons. You can see what the center is and what the radius is, and this is perfect for this example, because they give me the center and the radius. So I'm going to substitute right in, uh, h is 3, so this is x minus 3 quantity squared, plus uh, k is negative 1, and I'm subtracting it, so minus a negative 1 is y plus 1 quantity squared equals my radius, which is 2 squared, or 4, and that is my equation in standard form. Now to graph it, I start by graphing the uh, the center, which is not actually part of the circle, but I use it to create the circle. So 3, negative 1, I'll put a uh, kind of a small dot right there to keep an eye on what's going on. And then I'm going to use the radius, which is 2, to find four points on the circle, horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to go right 2, left 2. You can see why graph paper would be very useful here. Uh, up 2 and down to. Now even with those four points, and because I handmade the, the check marks and such, it's not going to look perfect, but if you use graph paper and a steady hand, you can get a pretty good looking circle. I took a class many, many years ago from a Dr. Aslan, uh, who taught uh, at a university in Texas somewhere, and he could draw freehand circles like no other. I'm not so good, so kind of bear with me. I'm just going to try to make a nice smooth curve. best I can, and that looks more like Charlie Brown's head, but there we go, and that's the graph of the circle. Now down here, there's a little bit more algebra that needs to be done because the example's a little different. It says write the standard form or center radius form of the equation of the circle with endpoints of a diameter. Now we know what a diameter is. A diameter goes through the center from one end to the other. There's the center, and this of course is your radius. The whole thing here is your diameter. So they give me the endpoints of the diameter, which tells me that I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here because I don't have the center given to me and I don't have the radius given to me, but I have enough information to find both and then I can just do what I did here. So to find the center, I'm going to take the midpoint of the diameter. And since I have the endpoints of the diameter, I'm going to use the midpoint formula here. This is going to be my center. And it is going to be... Uh, remember, you average the x values, so I'm going to add those together, divide by 2, you average the y values. 
3 plus 1 divided by 2. So this is going to be negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2, and this is going to be positive 4 over 2, which is positive 2. And so there's my center. Now to find my radius, I can do one of two things. I can use my center and either one of the endpoints of the diameter and use the distance formula, or I can just use, like if this had some messy fractions or something, I could just use the two endpoints, find the, uh, the diameter by using the distance formula, the length of the diameter, and then dividing by two. But since this one came out to be integers, I'll take these two guys right here, and I'm going to use the distance formula. This is going to be my radius. So if I use these two guys here, I'm going to have negative 2 minus a negative 3 quantity squared and 2 minus 3 quantity squared. So this is going to be the square root of, this looks like it's going to be positive 1 squared and this is going to be negative 1 squared. So that's the square root of 1 plus 1 or the square root of 2 and that's my radius. So now I go back to here, this is my h, this is my k h and k, and then this of course is my r, which remember we're going to square here. So I'm going to write it in roughly and then I'm going to simplify. I'm going to have x minus negative 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared plus, plus equals the square root of 2 squared. This is my x minus h quantity squared, my y minus k quantity squared, and my r squared. Better written as Square root of 2 squared, of course, is 2. Better written in this form. This is your center radius form.